Hello everyone and welcome back. Today is another more of a guide video. So today I'm going to talk about how you get GP points and how you should spend them. So first thing, first let's talk about how you get GP points. So I will read out uh, numbers, so the the what you need to get to unlock it and then the amount of, uh, the amount of stuff you, the amount of GP points you get. So for unlocking an outfit you get one GP point no, no matter the rarity. A relic is 10 relics. A new character is 20. Uh, an alt level, uh, any alt level increase is 3, a, a super awakening is 3, uh, a normal awakening is 1, and a limit break is 3. Limit break also includes evolve as well, and that's the same for all characters. That's really how you get all GP points, there is no other way to actually earn GP points, not by upgrading armor or anything like that. But, obviously, one character is a lot of GP points. So if you buy all the, uh, let's just say, you have Esterosa. You got him, that's 20 points. You fully awaken him, that's 6 points. Fully, you fully super awaken him, that's another 18 points. You get a lot of points really quickly, you get him 6-6. Six, six. There's another 15 points because your first alt level doesn't count. Obviously outfits, you get one for each one of these. So that's 3 there, 3 there, that's 6, another 3 there, that's 9. So that would be another 9. You get a lot of points very quickly, leveling up, uh, leveling them up. So you got him level 80, you get him to level 100, that's another... How many points is that? That's another 12 points. Stuff like that. It's very easy. Unfortunately, you don't get it from armor, but um, there is the reason I do highly recommend you upgrading your um, your alt level for characters you don't even use because you get GP points out of it. Now, as you can see, I'm on the, I'm halfway through exactly, 50% way through the constellation of the sloth. As you can see here, this is the constellation of sloth, and the way I recommend you get them is as you can see here I have all these small ones but don't have any bigger nodes this is the one you started off I didn't actually buy that one and I had to buy this one to be able to go through and buy the rest of them as you can see here once again so I highly recommend buying the smaller nodes before buying the uh, bigger nodes only because uh, a big node for me costs 250 but a small node only costs 25 it's much easier and it makes you feel like you've done more, more progress pardon me you also get substats as well so this is the final big cube a big circle, sorry. And this is all the substats you would get, the ones that I'm missing. And, you know, the attack ones is not actually the best, but I'm more looking at the, the, the defense ones, which is like resistance, crit resistance, crit defense. That can be really useful. It does cost a lot of points. That's just if I want to unlock all of them, as in, like, the ones I have to unlock to get here, to get to this final one. If I wanted to get to this one, it would be yeah, be a little bit cheaper, but it still costs quite a bit. Obviously, different constellation levels does cost you different amounts. I think for the next constellation, I'm not sure. I think the constellation of Gluttony, it's 25, sorry, 30 for the small one, and 300 for a big one. Obviously, you do get a lot of points, so a lot of HP. That's a, that's for every character, by the way. It doesn't matter the level or anything. That's how much HP they get from it. The HP is very good, and obviously, the, con the completing of the constellation HP is also very good. This is for every character, that's for every character, that's for every character. So it can be very useful, and it can actually be a big difference in terms of CC. So this is like, for four and a half thousand, it's like 1.5k CC per character you have. So in PvP, that's like 6,000 CC. If someone has a constellation higher than you, they might have 6,000 CC more because of their constellation. You might have to save everything, but just because their constellation is higher. Obviously, box CC um, does come into play as well as you get... Um, uh, a little bit of HP, which hey, HP is the biggest stat when it comes to CC. But yeah, that's really it. I just thought I'd make a video on how you get GP points and how you should actually spend them. My thing is just buy the smaller ones first. Substats are very important in terms of PVE and PVP, where main stats, if you really want that, if you really want more attack, you can run attack food. If you want really, really want more defense, you can run defense food. Obviously, if you want to run evasion food, you do, you know, you can sometimes feel the effects of missing one, two, three, four, five, about 115 defense from which you could have got from here, but it's not that bad. But these smaller nodes are much better because you can get crit chance. Uh, I also got 0.4% lifesteal, which is actually pretty good because some characters have like horrible lifesteal. So 0.4% is quite a big difference. Uh, regeneration rate, recovery rate, both horrible. Resistance is a big one. Uh, crit resistance is also another big one, and crit defense is also another big one. Uh, pierce rate is pretty good. Crit damage is good. Uh, crit chance you don't normally get much of because that is a very uh, impactful substat, so to say. 
but yeah, that's really it. And after you've uh, obviously bought all the smaller nodes, I recommend then getting the HP ones for the CC and then get the attack ones for the overall uh, general. It's just better. How much attack are you from here? 15. I'll just count the nodes first. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5 times 15 it is. So I'm very special. 45. It's 75. And that's quite a bit. 75 extra attack, is that too much? That isn't actually too much, but then plus the constellation, so it's 325. 325 is pretty good, especially just for a complete constellation. Obviously, um, you, you this is like, one of these whole nodes is like unlocking like three characters. So for a free-to-play player, in Grand Cross's lifetime, I think you might be able to complete constellation of the sloth. Obviously, if you look at me, I've been playing for a long time, and this is my box, and I am only 50%. Obviously, I'm missing like a lot of characters, so if you add up all the characters I'm missing, you could probably get 5, 10, 15, 20, 20, what's that? 22. So, you get 20 per 1, 400. I'm missing 440 points, so I'm missing one whole big node, just from characters I don't have. And obviously some of these characters are exclusive, and as of making this video, Final Boss Sorrel has been released, uh, announced, and the new Chandler has been announced as well. Who is going to be green, and he's going to be a buffer for the demon team. He looks like he might be a DPS as well, but we need to see his stats first before we can say anything. And they're also adding Waylo back as the top 100 reward for uh, normal PvP. No, I, I think it's from normal. I want to say normal, but I'm not sure. But anyway, thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video, please make, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. We are currently on the road to 50 subscribers, and we are at 41 currently. Anyway, thank you for watching this video, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.